Do you think the camera's okay? Is yeah, it too good. close? Or yeah. is it too, yeah, is it too close? Yeah, it's perfect. Hey, hey Jamily family. family. It's me, James. And me, Emily. Here are some videos to show you that no matter when you jump in with us, you can get to know us and who we are and where we're going. So we got this really good idea for the vlog. Mm -hmm. We're going to test different eye drops and see if they work. <laughs> oh no, I spilled the. Oh, we ran out of eye drops. Now what are we gonna do? It's a Wednesday night and I sprained my ankle, so we came to Target at like 7:30 at night and we found the Easter discount section and we got four different chocolate bunnies. I got an idea. <laughs> Let's taste test them for the vlog. Oh yes. <laughs> One excuse. I know, right? Hmm. <laughs> Only a dollar? Yeah. So we made bets. I think all three are gonna be 60 bucks. No, 30 bucks total. You know, I think they're gonna be 25. That was 70 cents. That's pretty good. Oh my gosh. I hope I'm not right. That was five. Okay, so that's what I thought they were all gonna be. And that was seven dollars. <laughs> James Besson? I win. Um, so we have our four chocolate bars, chocolate bunnies. The first one is Russell Stover. I'm excited for this one. My mom also got some of these for us, so we officially have three. <laughs> our, se <laughs> our second one is Palmer. I expect that one to not be the best, just because I've had Palmer Christmas chocolate before, and it's the one that you saved till the very end. Then you enjoy it because it's all you have left, but it's still not that good. Then we have Godiva. I don't know much about Godiva. It'll probably be good. And then last but not least, Dove. And it is the biggest, so it should be the best in theory, right? It was also the most expensive. <laughs> James got our knife. How are we going to start this? Here's what I think. I think we should do both a taste a taste test, talking about what each one tastes like. Mm -hmm. And then I think we should do it again, but blind. Oh, I like it. See, so we have tasted it already. Exactly. I like it. So then we you know we can we have kind of a what we think about it, but then we see which one we actually like the most. Perfect. Can we open up the boxes? Yes. This is my kind of challenge. I'm so excited. All right. Which one do you start with? Russell Stover. Yep. Okay. We're gonna cut off the ears? Yes. Wait, first we have to analyze the bunny. So this chocolate bunny, this one looks kind of damaged. It was also in the clearance section. It was um, like 99 cents. Yeah, so it was cheap. Haha, <laughs> woof woof. Actually, I think it was 49 cents because it was usually a dollar. <laughs> gonna be real. I'm good with that. Um, It's textured. You can see it has Easter eggs at the bottom, a ribbon around its neck. It's about the size of my hand. Yeah. So, let's try this one. We're going to be taking off the ears. With the... the ears have been dislodged. At least not breaking the ears in half. All right. The ears? No, it's smart. I just stuck a whole thing in my mouth. Mmm. It's silky. Mm. It's smooth. Okay. It has a distinct chocolate fa chocolate flavor that I recognize from my childhood. It's got that, like, melt on your lip kind of chocolatiness. No. It doesn't melt immediately. You have to kind of chew it a little bit for it to melt, in my opinion. Like waxy. It is kind of waxy. I like it. Yeah. I like that. Out of ten, what would you rate it? Six. Six. Okay. Six out of ten for Russell Stover. All right. Next, we have Palmer. Do you want to do this one? Yes. Next, we have Palmer, which Emily has talked about a little bit already, but I will not talk about my experience with it. Well, I might have to cut that out, so you just do your own thing. This bunny has carrots. It's a, because it's a vegetarian. This bunny does not eat any meat. 
It also has blue eyes. It comes from the range deer family. The range deer were the ancient family of the bunny kingdom, and they all had blue eyes and passed them down to their descendants. Um, this bunny also wears a bow. The bow is around its neck, not on its ears, not on its toes, it's on its neck. That is where it wears its bow. Um, it has a lighter color than the other bunny. You could say that that means it's a more milky chocolate, but I guess we'll find that out when the tasting, won't we? Oh, it does have a lighter color. It's also a little bigger than the last one, so more for your money. Oh yeah, compare it to my hand. It is a little. It's a little bigger than my hand, but it is thinner. Like, it's not as wide. Like, my hand covers the whole thing. Well, I guess my hand covers... I don't know. I don't know. Time to dissect the bunny. Is this the lightest colored one? I think it is. I think it is, too. Dove is giving it a run for its money, but I think it's the lightest. The ears have been chopped off. Yes. No, Emily has split the ears. Oh, I don't want the big one on this one. Mm. So this one's kind of grainy. Yeah. It has a really strong aftertaste. It was chalky. But yeah, grainy was a good part. It is chalky. You have a lot of air bubbles. Mm -hmm. Kind of tastes like cocoa, but not in a good way. Yeah. It's really sweet. It's very sweet. Compared to the Russell Stover one, like, it doesn't taste very chocolatey. And, like, I wouldn't say that it's milky. I would say it's, like, watery. Mm -hmm. Like, you froze some chocolate water. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. It is not creamy yeah. at all. No, it's like chocolate water. Mm hmm So I would give it like a two. I was giving Did it a two. Did you say two? Yeah. We're still in sync. We are. It's not going to last. I can't believe that you have the same rankings for chocolate because he's so opinionated on his chocolate and not liking it. <laughs> I think it's not that... Okay. I think we have the same rankings because we sense the quality the same. Mm -hmm. I just have higher standards in the idea of like... I will eat chocolate for like a nine, but you'll eat chocolate for like a. I'll eat the three. two. Yeah, you'll eat that. You'll yeah. eat anything. I will save it till very last. I because, just yeah. And then eat it when it's stale and even grosser because bad chocolate is better than no chocolate, and that's where we disagree. Nice. Godiva. So this one came in a golden um case tray. Um. It has two ears that are separate, which so far none of our bunnies have. It ha it's holding a basket full of Easter eggs, which is the only one that does that. Um, this is a straight up front view, which also is different from the rest of the chocolate bunnies. Well, this one specifically only shows texture on like the stomach of the bunny rather than all across. So it really makes it like kind of glossy. You can see out here at the head. Um, it is bigger than my hand. Significantly bigger than my hand, actually. And yeah. Nice. Significantly bigger. I'm gonna cut off the ears. Are the whole ears? Here's the thing. <laughs> I think that size matters. <laughs> so if we okay. get more chocolate because we're only eating the ears, but the ears happen to be bigger, mm -hmm. it's because it's better it's the size is better. Okay. I have cut off the ears and now Emily will break them in half. We both get an ear, basically. Yeah, we both get a whole ear. <laughs> I bet this is the biggest piece we get. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Very chocolatey. It's really creamy and then it like coats your mouth. Mm -hmm. It's not super sweet, but like, like in it. a good way, especially compared to the vault melon. Mm -hmm. mm, that one's really good. Yeah, I like. How it's not watery, it's like chocolatey. Mm -hmm. It's coating me in chocolate. Mm -hmm. It didn't leave any marks on my fingers, but I can feel it on my fingers. Yeah. Do you think it's more or less waxy than Russell Stover? Less waxy. I agree. But like thicker. There's a little burn in my throat. Decadent. There's... This one's decadent. That's the word. I was mm -hmm. like, it's fancy tasting. It, it does taste fancy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, it leaves a little burn in my throat, but I think that's the chocolate juices because it's coated my mouth. Let's see, because it was two, six. I think I know what I think for this one. Seven? I was gonna, oh, okay, I was originally gonna go with seven, but then mm -hmm. I moved up to an eight. I could go to a seven. I feel like my ideal chocolate would be a little bit sweeter. And then I'm gonna stay with an eight. 
Because I think it was a good amount of sweet. It wasn't too sweet. So you say seven. We can give it a eight. I mean, you can so give it a seven. So we can just rank it. Seven and a half. Okay. I'm good with that. Okay, the next one. Last one. <clears throat> this is Dove Chocolate Bunny. This one is actually a monument to the great bunny god. <laughs> uh, as you can tell, it's a sphinx-like figure carved out of chocolatey stone. Um, it's a replica of the great bunny, which once haunted the woods of last October. And it, uh, it, it has the power to shoot lightning out of its eyes. <laughs> it is married to Mr. Knock Bunny, and it's uh, been living happily with its husband and wife. Wait, no, with its husband and children. Ever since. Let's cut its ears off. Wait, compare it to my hand. Compare it to my hand. I think Emily's hand. This could... is the biggest. Yeah. So, like, the Godiva one, the ears were just, like, bigger. This is, like, the whole head is, like, above my hand. You need fingerprints <clears throat> on it. Yeah. So, this one, it's got distinct fingerprintage. It's a little darker than the Palmer one. Mm -hmm. It is very thick, though. It is really thick. You're going to have to saw it. it. Look at how thick that is. It's insane how much that took. How are you going to break that with your hands? I can't. <laughs> Do you want me to chop it in? I'm not going to eat this whole thing. We can mm. use it for the taste test later. I still have chocolate. It might be my favorite. It's a good sweetness. It's like a melt in your mouth kind of do. Mm-hmm. Like I have to chew it, but like it's melting. Mm-hmm. It was like it's the same type of thing as Godiva, where it like coats your mouth again in a good way. Um but you eat that whole thing. Mm -hmm. For Mr. I don't like chocolate, you sure are eating a lot of chocolate. I'm a hard worker. And I don't give up. I was worried there was gonna be an aftertaste. Like when I put it in my mouth, I was like, oh, this might leave an aftertaste. And it doesn't. Hmm. I feel like 10 out of 10 is bold. 10 out of 10 would be Cadbury, so I can't give it that. <laughs> There's that burning in my throat. Is that from when you were sick last week? Or is that just like normal? It's like the chocolate juices start to float on my throat and it burns. If they go down without my permission. It's pure joy. <clears throat> it might be a little too sweet for me. Really? It's really good. I ha like It's great. It's great chocolate. I'd give it like a seven because it's too sweet for me. Nine. I'll give it a nine. Then it makes it an eight. So it's, it's still the highest. The yeah, the good dive is my favorite. It would still, because of our rankings, it's an eight, seven and a half, six. Two. You're right. And she would still eat all of them. <laughs> I will eat all of them. I would only eat the good dive. <laughs> that was really good. Mm -hmm. This is fun. You like chocolate? Mm -hmm. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna, you're gonna blindly taste this. Cool. And well, I'm not going to, because we don't really need to, need to do it. We're just gonna see, give it to her blind, see if you can guess what she turns on. So uh, put your mask over your eyes. <laughs> James has chopped off their toes. And now <laughs> as the chocolate expert, I get to identify which is which. To clarify, some of them are butts. Are they? Well, I thought that was his foot. Maybe. I don't know. Get ready to eat some bunny blood. Mm -hmm. All right, are you ready? I'm gonna choose one. Okay, you have to stick your tongue out. Stick it out. <laughs> stick it out. Now, am I gonna tell you if you're right until the very end? Thoughts? Which one do you think that is? Palmer. Really? Why? Before I could even taste it, it was chalky. <laughs> That's funny. And now it's leaving that taste in my mouth. Like the cheap Christmas candy I get from my classroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, tell me when you're ready for the next one. Let me get a drink. Can I get a drink? Yeah. What are you laughing at? You're just cute. All right, stick your tongue out. <laughs> stick your tongue out. I have a really strong coffee flavor in my mouth. <laughs> Do you need another piece? It's not Dove. It was kind of waxy. So... It makes me think it might be Russell Stover's. I don't know. I'm going with probably Russell Stover. I might have to say it's the other one first. All right, choose the other one. Because it might be Godiva. I feel like I liked Godiva more. I don't know. You can try to look cute while you're sticking your tongue out, but I just need you to know, there's not gonna be a good way for you to stick your tongue out and look cute doing this. Mmm. <laughs> 
I think that's Godiva. That's Godiva because I really like it. But I don't think it was sweet enough to be without. Mmm, I like that one. Alright, and there's one more left. And it's coating my mouth. It's coat Okay, so that other one, the second one was Russell Stover because it did not coat my mouth. Okay. I think this one might be dubbed because it felt thick. <laughs> <laughs> You can open your eyes though. I am the least confident in that one. It was sweeter. I will say from that plain taste test, I think Godiva was my favorite. Because it had the richest chocolate chocolate flavor. Or, okay, the third one. All right, are you ready for have your mind blown? Was I right? The first one? Mm-hmm. Palmer. I knew right. that. Yes. That one was right. The second one mm -hmm. was Godiva. And your favorite one was Russell Stover. Was it really? The 99 cent bunny that we got for 49 cents. <laughs> and the last one was Dove. Wow. So the cheapest one was the yeah. best. That's so funny. Well, that's the one we have three of because my mom got us so many. I like how I thought it was Russell Stover or Godiva. And then and it was and Godiva. And yeah. then when I tasted the Russell Stover one, I was like, oh, this is Godiva. <laughs> they, they are definitely the most similar. Like, even though Russell Stover and yeah. Dove are what I would consider the best ones from what we tasted when we had our eyes open. Um, really? I thought you liked this one best. They're the best ones is what I said. Oh, you said Russell Stover. Oh. So even though... She knows the brand names. I don't know nothing. <laughs> even though these two are probably the best ones, these are the most similar. Yeah. And the Russell Stover's and Godiva one. And I kind of like this one because it is like a nostalgic childhood one. The, the Russell Stover. <laughs> it's got that waxy childhood one. You know what you're going? But Russell Stover is my favorite. I mean, gosh, Godiva. <laughs> Forget it. That was awesome. Russell Stover is your favorite. It was awesome. Uh, no, I think, the, I think the Dove was my favorite. The Dove was my favorite when we were tasting them. Yeah, but... The you're... blind, I preferred this one. Yeah, and your mouth can't lie. Your mouth had no biases. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I guess that's all. At nice. Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs> I, I love, love you. you. Aww. Jinxies. Chocolate boy. Bye. I guess I